Hello YouTube and today I'm going to show you how to download and install Windows 7. It's an unlocked version and I'm going to tell you how to get it. It's really simple if you follow these steps. So you can just check the version. Type in WinVer. So it's version 6.1 bit 7600 and of course the the, the version, the original version, but the most notable difference would be it's of course a different version like version 6.2, 6.3 and the build will be something else obviously. So the biggest problem in this is like how do you activate it? I mean it's almost impossible to activate this right? So as you can see this, I've removed the activation key. So I have it permanently and mine is a 32 bit operating system. So I'll tell you how to get that. So the trickiest part is how do you, how do you get the activation key and how or how do you remove it? Well, in the video description I've given link I've given the link of two activators. One is hazards, which will activate it, uh, and one is the alternate activator, also known as remove WAT. And let me tell you the remove WAT works hundred percent. So you don't need to worry about that. So let's begin. So the materials you'll be uh, the materials you'll be needing for this is an active ISO burner, a blank DVD, and of course a torrent program. So if you want to download an active ISO, it's please get it. It just takes two three seconds. So you go download it. Just enter your internet. Um, just a sec, please. Come on. Yep. Go to Google, Google.com. Um, just a sec, please. It'll take some time. Download a lot of files in my computer. Um, yeah. And then go here, type active ISO. Go to the first option over here. And choose any one of these. So as you see it takes two seconds to download. Now to get the activator you should go to the description. I prefer to use the alternate activator. And once you get the final version, you know you can go back to your friends if they even care. Or if you want, you can add additional features. I'll soon make a video on how to get this transparency effects to this. So open it. Now this is a 32-bit version. I've added a link for the 64-bit version too. I don't know why I have to give it x86. I thought it should be x32. Anyways, go download the torrent. After you download it, open your torrent program. See now to download to download this Windows 7, it is, it's a 2.23 gigabyte file. So it may take up to from two hours to 48 hours. So we don't want 48 hours, so make sure you've deleted a couple of files before downloading this. Now when you download this, right click on it and go to open containing folder. And it will have an icon like an ISO, just to let you know what ISO, the icon will be something like this. So drag it, drag it to your computer, go extract the sucker and right click on it and then go to burn it. Don't mess with the, the ISO settings and just burn the sucker down onto the CD. Now what you want to do is after you burn it down, you want to restart your computer and then maybe stuck in some stuff. You get stuck in mess like this. Just a sec. And then yeah, just a sec please. So you go over here, go to images and install Windows 7 um, yep want to go this one over here just a sec please and please 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 choose custom advanced upgrade is seemingly nicer and easier but custom advanced best if you ask me it deletes all your files so be sure you have a backup plan it deletes all your files, plus you, it makes the computer really fast. So I prefer choosing custom advanced. And then 
when you click next you'll be stuck something like uh, is this it just a sec just let me check it oh no this isn't it so we know Yeah, just a sec. I can't find the image, so anyways, it'll ask you or uh, type in your product key. Just click next. But before you do that, there'll be a small little box. Uncheck that, and then click next. Now, what you would want to have is then download the torrent program. I've given the link to it for it in my description. So just a second, you open it. Uh, right click it go to open containing folder um, yeah once you open it drag and drop to your desktop right click and extract it make sure you have WinRAR downloaded so before you can do that and then click it now I'll ask you remove WAT or not so just remove get it removed and again you have it if it, it'll, it freaks me out at first but then it actually works and then restart your computer again and again when you go to computer properties you see no, uh, none of these there will be no activation key oh yeah just to ensure like I told you just uncheck the smaller box when it tells you uh, enter your product key if you do that it will be something like uh, you have 30 days to activation activate your windows 7 so do that and make sure it's there. Then we go download this, remove WAT 19.rar, and then I've given the link in the description. So you can go and brag to your friends. I hope you like this video, and if it really helped you, please subscribe. Anyways, thank you for watching this video. Uh, please tune into the 66924 channel again, and please subscribe if this helped you. Thank you.